Hey Aquarius, this is LT Tarot doing your April 2020 um, love reading. Now we are quarantined, so I understand that it may not be a lot of loving going on, or maybe a lot, you know, it's like that balance here, like, you know, like, either your partner can't come through like they want to, or your partner is over every day and you probably tire of them. So I feel like this is a good month for love, you know, Easter time um, or springtime where the love is here and everything is amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump right into the reading. Um, I do want to let you guys know that at the end of this month, I do have another psychic fair and um, it's going to be the last weekend of this month. And that's the last weekend of every month. Um, the readings are $25. Um, you can go on my website now and book. So definitely check that out. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into the reading with the romance deck. Now, as I shuffle these cards, I would like for you guys to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And um, also make sure you guys follow me on um, Instagram at LTTarot. So, I think that's good enough, um, Aquarius. Let's see, like, what's three main points happening in your love life here? Hmm. The first one is express your love. It says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So, definitely express your love, um, Aquarius. So, when I get that card, I just feel like you are already into something with somebody and with that being said, it's just kind of like one of those situations where since you're in this situation, go ahead and express yourself. I know you, some of you guys could be a little aloof or whatever, and you don't actually um, give, you know, like you all in, but then you guys pull back some. So when you find yourself pulling back, make sure that you guys are expressing yourself to your partner. Letting them know like how you feel. Like don't have them, um, don't leave them in the dark. Let them know the whole way, how you feel, what you want in this relationship, what uh, what you're expecting, so um, and what's going on with you. Because your partner would never know um, what's going on with you unless you talk to them. So what is really important in this mind is definitely express your love to them. There could be some codependency issues in this relationship. Um, codependency simply talk about um, addictions, um, you know, and addictions could be like you guys are addicted to being around each other, or you guys actually have like addictions, like something major, you know, something where you're codependent on. And so, in this relationship, you guys need to work on your codependency here, you know. If you feel like there's no balance, because to me, when I see this card, also, I don't really feel a lot of balance in the relationship, I feel a lot of like you know, you're overdoing some things or you underdoing some things. And it's just like in this relationship, you guys need to work on finding the balance here. Retreat. So, I mean, we all doing this, you know, but um, this month you and your partner will be retreating. It says it is time to disconnect from the world. Now, when I hear this, I heard one thing is like build something with somebody. You know, I kept hearing build something. Either if you're building something financially or you're building like a stronger relationship, use this time wisely. Use this time to build a stronger relationship with your partner. So definitely work on that energy, guys. Um, we're going to use, pull some more cards. We're going to pull the Psychic Tarot deck and see, like, what messages we have here. So I'm going to pull, like, nine cards and see, like, what is going on with these cards here. Get some good shuffles in here. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Like, tell me, like, what are you guys doing for your, um, this quarantine that we have here? Like, for me, I've just been kind of, like, working on my business, you know, um, focusing on me, um, taking this time to do self-care, self-healing, 
that type of energy here. Ooh. So the first thing first, Aquarius, the first thing came out was spiritual union. So this is definitely a spiritual union with your partner. So if you've been thinking like, mm, I feel like this person is a soulmate. I feel like uh, things are deeper than, uh, you know, you could have just met this person, but you feel like something is deeper than what they, what it is. It's because this is a spiritual union. This is like a really good connection here. And like, I love that these two are coming together. Like they're putting their brains together and they kind of like almost on the picture, it looks like they're coming together as one. And I just see you guys doing that. It's like two become one and working on strong foundations here. The next card we have is um, working on your base chakra. So because this is a uh, spiritual union, um, you want to make sure you work on your insecurities here. Like the, the um, addictions could be affecting your insecurities. This card right here, the codependency card. So addictions could be affecting your, um, your insecurities, um, bringing that out. But you want to make sure you work on your base chakra or your root chakra. Oh my gosh, my cards. All right. Next cards. You guys have went through a heartache and a loss. And I feel like I feel like spirit is almost about to bless the situation. It's like I wanted to show you. So with the spiritual union here, right? With this card, it's almost like you guys are together. You guys could have had some heartaches and break a losses in the, um in the past, a lot of heartbreak, right? But what's happening is, is that that's maybe affecting why you have codependency issues, why you want to be around your partner a lot, why you're having these insecurities, because there was a lot of heartache. And it's kind of hard getting over those things or getting pushing through those things here. And so that's where it's like, even though this is a spiritual union, that doesn't keep us from heartache and loss. And you guys felt like you lost them in the past, and now you're trying to uh, push forward, you know? Like, get to the next level here. Now, this card is the authority card. Letting me know, like, you guys uh, could have, like, you guys are either in an authority position, you are in some type of leadership position, or your partner is. But when I really hear with this card is that you have the authority to fix the situation or get to where you want to be. Like, all cards are in your hand. So you have the um, the winning hand here. So you have authority to change your, your life, change your situation here. So you have to just keep remembering to push forward. Some of you guys need to tap, tap into your third eye chakra. Like, you guys are very intuitive, so don't question that about yourself. You definitely want to tap into this energy here and... Um, Trust your intuition. And if your third eye chakra is blocked, definitely do some work on that. You know, I do have a, um, since all these chakras are um, coming out, just a little insert. I do have a person named Lisa um, that does my, um, she does, I think it's called Reggae. I know I always pronounce it wrong, um, but sorry for butchering it. But I know what it is. So it's just basically energy clearing, um, you know, energy healing. So if you guys feel like your chakras are blocked, definitely go on my website, lttarot.us, and book that during my psychic fair at the end of this month. But yes, their third eye chakra is blocked here. And that's why you're not getting intuitive messages about your partner. But you want to work on that as well. Put that there. You guys are going to kind of like switch it up and... um you know, build a firm foundation with your lover. So it's like you guys are definitely are changing the way that you think, changing the way that um, things are coming together for you. And you're definitely building this uh, firm foundation. You know, um, when I hear firm foundation or see firm foundation, I immediately think like something that's unbreakable. Like you guys are building memories, building this strong commitment with each other. That is unbreakable here. Even though you had that heartache and loss and you got these blocked chakras, you guys have the authority um, to actually build this for, uh, firm foundation. Okay. 
the next card here is trapped in fear. So this is letting me know that you guys are kind of um, trapped in this mindset that things are not going to work out the way you want. It's like because you had this heartache and loss and you could have had this heartache and heartache and loss with another partner, but you brought that on into this relationship, you know? And so that's like why you're trapped in fear. That's why your base chakra is kind of like off because it's like a lot of fear, a lot of insecurity that's holding you guys back. And it's like you guys are not able to actually enjoy the moment because you keep thinking about the past and how your past uh, past is affecting your relationship right now. You guys um, wants to go into solitude for some reason. I don't know why. Now, you could want to go to solitude with your partner or you could want to be just by yourself to figure out everything, you know, if this is you and you want to be in solitude to figure out where you want to be at in this relationship, definitely check that out because, um, or do that because that's when, when we're by ourselves, that's when we have the biggest, um, changes in our life. That's when we have the biggest, um, inspiration, the biggest creativity, because we're able to be by ourselves and, um, hold on strong to that. And before we can go to the next level here. And at the end, like some of you guys may have some of your heart chakra um, blocked, but this, I don't feel like that that's the case. I mean, if you feel like um, your heart chakra is blocked, definitely drop a link below. I mean, drop a link, drop the comment below and let me know and tell me what's going on there. But I feel like you guys are going to be opening up your heart um, towards this person and expressing your love to them. So I do see like a really good relationship, a really good uh, foundation here. So let's do some, I'm going to use these cards here. These are the Oracle Fairies. And this card right here, kind of like, just to give us like some advice cards here. Like what we should do, what we should work on. Um, so let's see. So we're going to shuffle these. You may be able to see this on and off camera. I don't know, but you can hear it. Are you guys doing anything for the full moon? I do a little some some every I mean not every full moon, but I try to do something. Okay. So your card to uh to have here or to uh your advice card, it says have you it's called wisdom and it says, Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairies. This is a fairy deck. Um, inner fairy wisdom to help you with your um, with a challenge. So you don't have to call upon a fairy or anything, but definitely call upon your angels um, to help you out with this situation because you guys are wise beyond your years. So you need to tap into that. You know, like you guys are very. I haven't met a dumb Aquarius because Aquarius are like some of the smartest people because you guys like to dig, 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 and um, just tap into that wisdom here. So you guys, this is going to be your reading. Um, drop a comment below and let me know if this resonates for you. Also, like the video, um, share, you know, <laughs> and subscribe to the channel, you guys. Um, also, oh, one last thing. I'm going to, um, during this, um, pandemic, I'm going to do episodes of, like, the pick three thing. And, um, with that being said, definitely drop, like, anything that you want the answers to. So I'm going to just keep that going, like maybe post a video or I'm going to try to post a video every day while we're in the pandemic. <laughs> so you guys can have something to watch or something to go off of. And it's kind of like a little more personal to you. But thank you guys. This is going to be your reading. You guys have a really great week.